So we wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about the ProPoint, Trimble ProPoint solution. And by now I'm sure you've seen these videos online where they claim it does all these amazing things. Uh, you, you can put it anywhere, you can do anything. Uh, or not really, but that is uh, close to what they're claiming. Um, and we've seen them too, you know, we watch through them and, and as responsible um, you know, community members for the geospatial community, we feel it's important that we don't take these videos at face value uh, and, and we don't take Trimble's word for it just because they're Trimble. So um, what we were hoping that we could do for you uh, here in this short video is, is just review what the technology is about and uh, what we were capable of, of discovering. Um, so here you can see, uh, this is our little shootout. So we have uh, the base and then the two different types of rovers, R8S and R10-2. Um, you know, typically your job's gonna be, could be something like this out in the middle of nowhere. Um, clear skies everywhere. Yeah, we're under power lines, but they're, they're not the big kilowatt ones. And, uh, but what happens often, as I'm sure you're aware, is you're asked to get shots against the wall or where are the trees, you know, or where's that phone pole? So we set up our base and we connected both the R8S here and the R10 to it. And that's me moving the R8S into the corner for the first shot. And I'll move it into the tree to see if we can get the, uh, the next one. And then I come back and grab the R10, uh, dash two with pro point, put it against the wall, and then also bring it in. And then here's a, a close-up view of, of exactly what we're trying to get right next to this tree, pine tree. And what you have is the R8S, which just can't, it just, it's not gonna fix. I have radio connection, but uh, the signal noise is just, it's too much. Um, and then here's the R10 in that exact same spot, fixed. 19 satellites radio link up. And uh, we'll just back out here a little bit so you can see is the R10 Model 2 right up against the tree, against the wall. So now for data. Okay, so we brought all of the data into Trimble Business Center here. And you can see on the screen, it's an RTK setup. So you have your single base and a couple of shots that we took connected to that base. We did that with both the R8S and the Pro Point. Uh, R10 Model 2. Uh, the green lines, of course, are total station shots. So we set up on this point, backsided, shot these two, and then did a check shot over here to this third one. Um, so what we found here uh, is pretty interesting. If we zoom in, uh, let's go ahead and zoom in to the first one, which is under a couple of trees. As we get closer, you can see uh, the green vector here, labeled as X10, was shot with a total station. Then you have the R10-2 and the R8S here. Um, and, you know, total station is always going to be more accurate, but the R10-2 is way more accurate than the R8S. So first thing that we want to look at, let's go ahead and look at the properties uh, of the shot as it was taken. So this is the R8S here. And we come over here and look down uh, and you can see your horizontal and vertical precisions here. 27 hundredths by 38 hundredths for the R8S. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. We have 13 satellites, 61 epics. All right, let's look at the R10. Scroll down here. The R10 says, hey, uh, actually 42 hundredths and 66 hundredths. And uh, same thing, 61 FX, 14 satellites. So really what you're, what you're getting, what you're seeing here is that they are, um, the R10 is producing a more reasonable solution here. Let's go ahead and compare these points and take a look and see 
So between the control shot that we took with Total Station and the R8S, uh, it's almost two tenths off. Then we look at the Total Station to the R10 to 56 hundredths. That's pretty interesting. So I actually pulled up a couple of these uh, comparison shots and we'll, we'll take a look there. But let's go look at this other one, which was also under a tree. And there you can see that's pretty interesting. Here's your R8S, here's your R10, and then that's, that's your total station. So we do a point comparison for that one. Uh, I'm not sure if that is the correct point comparison, so I'm just going to make a new one. And go up here to reports, point comparison between the three. So we look and we have from the uh, control point to the R8S, two and a half tenths. And from the control point to the R10, 24 hundredths difference. Uh, that's kind of amazing. And that's pretty remarkable. So again, let's look at the, the precisions at the time of the shot here. So you have 36 hundredths horizontal and 52 vertically. Um, not that many satellites, nine, it's enough, but uh, not a crazy amount, 59 at least. Let's look at the R8S. The R8S shot in the same area was two tenths by two and a half tenths. Claims that it saw more satellites, yep, I'm sure it did, but no epics here. So what that means is that this shot had to be forced to collect because it was not fixed and it would not fix underneath this particular shot here. So, and then uh, previously in the video, you saw where they were, but just for information's sake, if we pull open the map and then go over here and change it to uh, imagery, once that loads up, you'll be able to see exactly where these shots were. And it's taking a minute. So maybe we'll zoom out a little bit. There you go. And you can see this one's kind of in between trees, but right next to the wall. This one is directly underneath trees, pine trees. So it's it's pretty fascinating. Uh, and it works pretty well, which is um, exciting because, you know, that we need uh, more confidence in our ability to trust these uh, technologies. And so far from what I've seen, it's it's pretty great. So just as a final one, let's look at this. So you have your check shot and then your R8S and your R10 to pro point enabled. Let's go ahead and compare these. These are both wide open. All three of these are wide open shots out in the middle of nothing. And yeah, consistent, right? Three hundreds. That's great because that's, that's the VRS solution. And uh, Again, we're still big believers in VRS. It does a good job, clearly. Um, but uh, uh, the, mo the most interesting part is, is what happens when you're just connected up to a base out in the middle of nowhere, and your property corner just happens to be directly underneath trees. How are you going to get that shot? How are you going to trust the shot that you get? And uh, this ProPoint technology is really doing a, a great job of making me believer. Um, the last thing that I want to show you is over here, this shot uh, was taken by the side of a building and underneath trees. Let me see if I can again load the map so you can see that the R8S would not initialize. It just wasn't going to happen. So there you can see the shade of the building covering us. There's a bunch of trees here. I'm right in between the building and the trees. And I couldn't get the shot at all with the R8S. The R10, once I waited a little while, um, I was able to get this, and it was down here at a foot and a half by two feet. So that's the, that's the power of the ProPoint technology. And uh, of course, if you have any questions uh, about this tech or you want to talk to someone personally about your job and maybe your application, uh, please reach out to us uh, via email or phone, and uh, uh, we'll We'll see you next time.